What up, though? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Shells Talk. Man, let's get into it, bro. So today, we're going to do a video about these are the top things that will get you killed in Detroit. Right? The top things that will get you killed in Detroit. Let's get into it. All right. One of those things is not being aware of your surroundings. Not being aware of your surroundings should apply to life. You should always be aware of your surroundings. You never know what people are on out here. You know what I'm saying? You have to learn how to read people and understand what type of people you're dealing with, what type of people you're coming across. Being aware of your surroundings definitely will save your life. Not being aware of your surroundings in the city, bro, can definitely get you hurt. And these two coincide. Not being aware of your surroundings and also not minding your business. Mind your business, bro. You see some stuff that's going on that has nothing to do with you. Mind your business, bro. Keep it moving. Just keep keep it going. Keep it moving. Don't involve yourself in that. You feel me? You know, nobody gets shot for no reason, you know. But a lot of the times, innocent bystanders get hit by being places they shouldn't be and by not minding their damn business. If you see a situation popping off, you see two people arguing and it's escalating, get the fuck up out of there. Don't stick around. Don't try to watch and see what's going on. Don't put your phone out. That's how people end up getting shot. Because motherfuckers want to be too nosy and not mind their business. Not minding your business can get you killed, bro. You see stuff that has nothing to do with you. If it look like it's getting bad, just keep going. Keep walking. Keep driving. Just ignore it. Also, what could get you killed in the city? And this, honestly, this list really applies to life. Involve yourself with the wrong people, bro. Involve yourself with the wrong people can get you killed in Detroit. Me personally, I know the type of people I hang around or whatever they into are ready for what come with that, you feel me? But if you don't want those type of problems, bro, I suggest you not hang around those type of individuals. If you do know individuals that, that are into criminal activities that are in and stuff that they should be doing, and you choose to be around that person all the time, and they end up having enemies, and they can't find dog, who you think they gonna come for if they see you with him every day, you feel me? You just gonna be a casualty of war. Involve yourself with the wrong crowd of people could get you hurt in life, period, bro. Not even in just Detroit, but just life in general. You know what I'm saying? Like, involve yourself with the wrong people. Shit, that's, that's how a lot of people just, that's how a lot of innocent bystanders get hit here, for sure. Next on this list is just, like, criminal activity, bro. Like, drug dealing, drug dealing, hustling. It's a lot of, Detroit is a materialistic city, bro. Like, a lot of people who not from here may not know this. Detroit is materialistic. They be talking about how poor the Detroit is and all that. Man, bro, everybody around here got to hustle or some way to get to some money because people here really like nice things, you know? People want the new cars, the new TVs, the new video games, the new clothes, the new fashion, got to have Gucci, Louis, Fendi, all that type of stuff, you know? So everybody up here is hustling for... uh. Uh, some specific type of reason may not be nothing materialistic but everybody up here on the hustle you feel me but a lot of murders go down here because of jealousy greed envy you know people see people having things that they can't afford they sell and they feel like you know shit i can't get it i'm gonna take it from you, you feel me or dog got some bricks and we gonna go up in his crib and take his work in and sell it. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a lot of dirty shit going on. People robbing. People get killed trying to rob people, dog. I know a nigga who got killed trying to rob somebody with an empty gun, bro. And I, and you know what I mean? It's just everybody up here, bro, it's just on their hustle or scheme in some type of way, bro. But that's another main reason why a lot of people here die, bro, or get killed. Because, they, you know what I mean? Hustling, scheming in the streets. You know, that's just how it is. Detroit not a game bang city, bro. It's not no motherfuckers beefing over sets and colors and territories only territories niggas beefing over is drug spots you feel me like a lot of the young dudes they may get into it over neighborhoods but as they grow older and grow out of that immature stage of beefing over what neighborhood they from and all that they start to get into that hustle life and get into that money and that's when shit really start to get toxic and it really start to get real in the streets because now you going from just being immature and fighting over, you know what I mean, whatever little clique you in or whatever hood you from, to like, okay, bro, we about to set up shop and get this money. But those are the uh, top things that get people killed in Detroit. And that's, just get, and that's just in any city, bro. That applies to any city. I don't care if it's L.A., Chicago, whatever. Always be aware of your surroundings. Don't involve yourself with the wrong people. Mind your damn business. 
You know what I'm saying? You know, and if, you know, you don't want to be involved in that life, bro, get you a job. Stay away from the streets. For real. The streets ain't for everybody, bro. You know what I mean? Streets ain't for nobody, honestly, but people do what they have to do to survive in this life, and that's just life, you feel me? But those are the top things that can get people killed in Detroit. Those are the top things that can get you killed in life. It's, this is a life lesson, you feel me? But like, comment, subscribe. It's Shells Talk. Click that bell. I got more videos coming. And uh, you already know what it is, bro. I'll get at y'all later. Peace and positivity. Also, still invest in crypto. Make sure you invest in stocks. Tesla is down low. Buy some Tesla right now. Ford down low. Buy some Ford stock right now. And if you want to get into stocks, make sure you download the Robinhood app. Make sure you download Coinbase. Make sure you download the Crypto.com app. Those three apps that I like to, that I like to use personally. And we bull always invest, bro. You got to think about your future. This shells talk. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.